What's going on guys? Welcome back to another repaint video. In the video today, we're going to be repainting the Mattel Spinosaurus again. This time we're going to be doing it in the style of the Jurassic Park 3 Camo Extreme Spinosaurus design. Now I'm going to be using the airbrush primarily on this repaint, but for those of you who don't have access to an airbrush, fear not, your old pal T-Bro has you covered. These are the acrylic paints that you're going to need to do this repaint. First off, you're going to want to get a bottle of burnt umber and spiced carrot. Mix these two together to make the light rust color that you'll need for the body. You want to get a bottle of black for the claws, the stripes, uh, and all the black accents. You want to get a bottle of cool blue, and this is going to be for the stripes on the sail as well as the stripes on the face. And then you're going to want to get a bottle of beachcomber beige or any kind of light tan or beige color will work. This is an optional step here, a bottle of brown shoe polish to act as a wash. But if you're not comfortable with doing washes just yet, don't worry, feel free to leave this out completely. This is a very easy repaint to do. I hope this video is going to help you guys out. I'm going to go ahead and get started and I will see you at the end. Okay, so I'm starting out, the model is primed in black and I'm going to start building up the light rust color for the body tone that I'm using. I'm moving the articulation around, making sure to get all inside the nooks and crannies so I don't leave anything um, hidden. I don't want to uh, have to come back later and uh, fix it once I have everything on. So always just take your time, move the articulation around, especially on these Mattel dinosaurs, all these little joints and stuff that they have, they can be problematic sometimes, but uh, just take your time, be patient. Uh, now I'm going in here with the uh, transparent burnt umber, spraying it all over the body and I'm immediately wiping it off, letting all that burnt umber get down into the little details and cracks and everything, the pebbles and scales, and it uh, really makes the model pop. This is um, where you could use the brown shoe polish if you wanted to, but like I said, you don't have to if you're not comfortable with washes. If you're afraid of messing something up, you know, just uh, skip that part altogether. Now I'm going in with some of the black, and this is just acrylic paint thinned down, and I'm doing all the claws on the hands and of course on the feet as well. Now I'm going in with the transparent black from Createx and I'm going to start building up all these little stripes and, and uh, stuff on his body. All right, now I'm taking uh, two colors, mixing them together. This is a white and yellow ochre to get this nice underbelly tone um, that kind of matches the original toy. And uh, I'm just lightly putting it on the body. This is where you could use the Beachcomber's Beige on it um, or, you know, whatever, whatever color you choose to use. All right, now I'm taking the acrylic cool blue, thinning it down, and I'm doing the face stripes. This is a job for a fine tip paintbrush. Uh, this is not something that I could do with the airbrush. I'm not that good. So I have to do all this by hand, but I will do the sail with the airbrush, uh, lay down some white first, you know, and then go back over it with the blue. It's just a bigger area. This is a very fine area and the fine tip paintbrush works really well for doing these little thin uh, pointy uh, tiger stripe things on his face. So I've already done the white outline with the Createx white and now I'm going back over with the fluorescent blue and uh, lightly going back over these little stripes. Uh, just slowly bringing them up with uh, layer and layers of blue color until they're nice and vibrant. So the last step here before we seal it up with matte varnish. <laughs> Somebody's calling me. Oh, it's, it's my wife. She's calling me. This is a uh, great reminder to silence your phone when you're recording, kids. I'll probably leave that in the video. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to take the black paint and um, I want to sharpen up all the blue lines and to make them real pointy, just to make them more aesthetically pleasing. Uh, so that's basically what I'm going to do here. And then I'll uh, seal it up with some matte varnish and uh, go and take some cool pictures. Guys, I appreciate you all sticking around and watching the video. I hope it helped. And if you do decide to do this repaint, please tag me on Instagram at Ted Brothers or tweet at me at Ted Brothers on Twitter. 
I'm also on Facebook at the Jurassic Park Compound, but you all know that because the links will be in the description box below. That's where you guys can find me. So, you guys enjoy the rest of the video, and I will see you next time.